Today I will show you Thai massage in action. I will demonstrate some of my favorite techniques and they're not in a real particular order. I just want to show you how it looks like and how I move. So the first technique is a foot technique. It looks like this. So what I like about this technique, it happens to be my favorite foot technique, is that it is a continuous motion technique. So it's not that you just do something and then you stop and do something else. You can go on with that for several minutes and it will feel really nice for the client. It's a very flowing technique. Next one is a stretch for the hip and the legs. So I stretch between my left hand, which is right below her hip bone, and my right hand, which is just above her knee, and then I lean in. Now, I have to say, people who have stiff hips, it won't look like that because their knee doesn't go down. It will only maybe go down to this position when you have to stuff the pillow under the knee to support it. Or, if people cannot handle the stretch, you can replace it with a rocking technique like this but if people can handle the stretch you just lean in by putting equal weight on both hands and the word here is weight we never press in Thai massage we just use our body to lean in so that makes it very easy and it feels much better than if you just press on something next technique is what I call the sandwich rock for the belly. One hand rocks her from underneath and the other hand goes on top. So this is the sandwich. It's another continuous motion technique that feels very nice and very relaxing for the belly and you can do this as long as you like, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, you can move the hand up and down the belly area like this. From here, we will go into a lower back stretch. I keep her leg down with my leg and I pull up her hip and her lower back. So my right hand is on her hip, my left hand on her lower back and I lean back. Again, I'm using my body weight. For people who have any kind of lower back issues, stiff lower back, pain in the lower back, this many times gives great relief. You can also do a little bit of a rocking movement. It opens up the lower back. It's a wonderful technique. Next we'll go on to a shoulder move. I call this the figure eight because it resembles the movement of a figure eight. Looks like this. Again, this is a continuous motion. You rotate one shoulder after the other. That's a really nice workout for the shoulders. And now I will show you 
an upper body twist. So I use my left hand to pull up her shoulder and the right hand pulls up on the back but not at the same time but offset one after the other and that gives a like a rolling type feeling. Again, a continuous motion technique. You can just do it as long as you like. And it's a technique that clients really like. Sometimes when you do this, you get a release in the spine and it's a cracking sound. And there's nothing dangerous about that. But you never want to force that crack. And again, I'm just using my body weight to lean back. You can see my arms are straight, so there is no muscle effort really when I lean back. That is what we are after, to do it in the way that is as easy as possible for the practitioner, the therapist. So here you have a number of my favorite techniques. I hope you liked this presentation. Have a great day. Bye-bye.